Hello everybody, this is Howard the Teaser King coming to you with the College Game of the Week. I did this a couple weeks ago and I just want to repeat it. Uh, back then I told you to take Michigan over Wisconsin. I told you it'd be a low scoring game and I thought they'd win about 23 to 7, 23 to 10, which they would have if they didn't miss three field goals. But it was a low scoring game and Michigan did cover in a teaser winning 14 to 7. Uh, so let's go to Ohio State and Wisconsin this time. Ohio State's lane 10, 10 and a half, over under a 44. So I look at the game the way I do and I go, okay, Ohio State has good quarterback, good running, Urban Meyer, great defense. Their corners and secondary are very fast. Wisconsin, freshman quarterback, good defense. Clemens is running okay, not great. Um, Coach Christ, okay, he's not Urban Meyer. Games in Wisconsin, okay, fine. Ohio State won in Oklahoma, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, Barrett, uh, very good running, throwing quarterback. Had a good test last week with Indiana at Indiana. Uh, and they still won by uh, a couple of touchdowns there pretty easily. Um, so how do I look at the game? Well, first I'd look at do I think the teams are even, and I don't. I think Ohio State is much better than Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin beat Michigan State, and how did they beat them? Well, Michigan State didn't establish any type of uh, offensively, they had no passing attack. Their quarterback's terrible. Their secondary receivers are they're all gone, so they're all young, and they don't know what they're doing. Defensively, they never applied pressure. They never blitzed. If they did, it was very weak blitzes that didn't get through. And their secondary just sat in a zone and let the receivers run by. So you never blitzed a freshman quarterback in his first start. Um, that was the reason I took Michigan State, because... Uh, that's normally what they do. So they didn't do what they normally did. Uh, so, strength. Ohio State's going to run the ball and they can pass it. They got great receivers and they're fast. The Barrett runs that little option. Uh, Wisconsin, very strong run defense. On, they're not very strong pass defense. And you notice the teams that they beat, LSU and, and Michigan State, neither of them have a quarterback. So they just stacked the box. They stopped Fontenot and Michigan State's decent running attack, and they easily stopped it. But look what happened against Michigan. Michigan was able to throw the ball pretty much where they wanted to. Uh, like I said, they missed three field goals. If they don't miss the three field goals, it's 23-7 and no problem. Uh, so I look at that as Michigan pretty much dominated them. Michigan got three interceptions with their big pass rush, their great secondary, their barrel peppers. It was just total, like, he didn't have the time, and he didn't have these wide-open receivers. I think it was something like 10 to 25 for 100 yards or something, which is what I expected Michigan State to do. That's what I expect Ohio State to do. Ohio State will put pressure on the quarterback. They have great secondary, great speed. So their slow receivers aren't going to do crap. This guy's not going to sit back and have time, and they're not going to be able to run on him. They can pound it up the middle on them all day. They're not going to gain any yards. Um, this is a team that totally dominated Oklahoma at Oklahoma, which nobody does. So, you know, Oklahoma's got a pretty good running backs in Perrine and the other guy, which I can't remember his name. But they got two really good running backs. They got a quarterback much better than this guy at Wisconsin and much better receivers. And Ohio State just basically blanketed them. Uh, I'd have to say Oklahoma's defense is not as good as Wisconsin, but you can't tell me they don't have the five-star, the All-American type. Uh, I was watching the Texas game. They have a cornerback and a linebacker who was golden. So where, did, where were they against Ohio State? Um, so Ohio State went in as a road favorite to Oklahoma, put up a 41-14, to no problem. I don't think you'll see that type of game. I do see that Ohio State probably puts up 28, and I don't think Wisconsin scores. Uh, maybe they get a 7 just because, but I don't see much more than that. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to take this game over also because it's 44, 
and I'm thinking about 38 and I'm going 28 to 10 is 38 so that's a push so I need I need you know 31 10 or 28 13 and I'm thinking well I can't imagine Ohio State doesn't get at least in the high 20s and then the question and this is where the beauty of my strategy is will Wisconsin score 20 and then it's an easy over and when you think about it, you're going, I don't think Wisconsin's going to score. I don't think they have the offense to score 20 points against Ohio State. So I got Ohio State scoring 28, at least 24, but let's say 28-31. So there's no way they're going to hold them under 28. I mean, Barrett's too good. The receivers are too good. They're too multiple. Urban will find a way. They'll find the weakness. So you got good passing, good running. But Wisconsin might be able to stop the run. They're not going to be able to stop his passing and his running ability. So this isn't Michigan State. This is the key. Every team has the matchup, and you've got to understand that. They're not playing Michigan State or LSU, a team without a quarterback. And Let's face it, both those teams stink. So I hate when the TV says they beat two top five teams or two top ten teams. Bullshit. Neither of those teams are top 25 teams. They both have two or three losses. They both are not very good. So what the hell are you talking about? They beat two, you know, beating LSU ranked number five is meaningless because it's before the season starts. Beating Michigan State after they beat a bad Notre Dame team and they're number eight is meaningless because they're not a top 25 team. So when these idiots say this, it just, it's so, they just show how stupid they are. Anyway, Ohio State will put up the 28, can Wisconsin put up 20 so you can go over? In 44, you go over 38, and I don't think I can go over 38. I certainly can't bet under because it's Ohio State, and they could put up, you know, they could put up 40. I mean, you never know. They did against Oklahoma. Uh, but here, uh, Wisconsin's not going to score a lot. Maybe, like, at the most, they'll get 10. I think about 7. They'll get, like, one lucky touchdown. Uh, Michigan State gave him turnovers. Ohio State won't. Um, I just look at Barrett's just too good. Urban Meyer is just too good. He's not going to lose. The spread's 10. Do you want Wisconsin in 16? They're not going to score very much. You can't count on it. They're not going to stop Ohio State. You know, you can't count on that. Not with Urban Meyer. You bet the coach. You bet the quarterback. Both of those things go to Ohio State. They probably have an equal defense, but Wisconsin's matchup problem is their receivers aren't going to get open. Ohio State's will. And Wisconsin will put a little pressure on Barrett, I'm sure, sack him a few times. But Urban will figure that out. They'll throw screen passes, which State didn't, or they'll just run up. You know, Hopefully they don't they'll get that edge, but I think if they do the option attack, fake it up the middle and watch Barrett go around the side, I, you know, I think Wisconsin's looking for uh, in trouble here. Um, I'm predicting 28-10 Ohio State. I wouldn't take Wisconsin in 16. That means I gotta love Ohio State minus four if I don't want Wisconsin in 16, right? I can't see them holding Ohio State down. Uh, even Michigan, like I said, should have had 23, and they still run a different offense because they don't run that spread and the quarterback running. Michigan's quarterback is pretty much stable. So Wisconsin should get some pressure on them, but not here. Uh, I still, you know, this is a different animal with Ohio State. Good luck stopping it because it's going to be very difficult. And once they get rolling, then Wisconsin can't run, and now the kids got to throw, and they're going to pick them. So look for at least one pick six in the game by Ohio State. Uh, minimum Ohio State scores is 28. They might get in the 40s. I don't know. Uh, that's why I'm kind of scared to go under because Ohio State could make it 50 on their own if they get really grilling. But let's say 28-10 Ohio State, possibly 38-10 Ohio State. Uh, lay the four. Um, looking at the stats, Wisconsin hasn't been a home dog in five years, so you can't really look at that. They're a pretty good road dog. Uh, as far as Ohio State is a road favorite, uh, they're kind of even on it, uh, basically winning at Oklahoma. Um, at Michigan, I don't know if they were favorite or dog last year. I locked them because I saw them getting a point or two. 
So my teaser was Ohio State plus eight against Michigan, and they beat them 44 to nothing, or 44 to 10, whatever. So, you know, those are the couple things. But they don't have any problem going on the road. Uh, when Connor Cook was playing, they crushed Michigan State at Michigan State. Uh, they beat Alabama on the road. This is a team that does not fear the road. So don't worry like, oh, it's a night game in the Big Ten. It's Wisconsin. They're a home dog. Not in this game. They're not. They're, they're a home dog, but not in this game. You want to take them. Power, you want to bet strong versus weak. That's my whole theory, my strategy, how I win. Strong, Ohio State. Not that Wisconsin's weak, but they're not that good. They're kind of middle of the road. Again, they don't have a quarterback. This quarterback, he showed his colors against Michigan, 7 of 20 or whatever, 9 of 20 for 125 yards, something like that, three picks. Believe me, he's not going to do much better here. I mean, okay, he had a week off to work on his game. Good luck. Uh, Ohio State secondary is just too fast. They'll get a pass rush, and they're going to run and throw, and good luck figuring out what they're doing. So take Ohio State, lay the four. Uh, should be no problem. Uh, I don't see this being a sweat with two minutes left in the fourth quarter. I think Ohio State, uh, by the end of the third, should have a nice, comfortable lead. Um, there you go. That's the game of the week. Um, that's what you look for. Ohio State only laying four, and that's the beauty of the teaser. You don't have to worry about laying 20, and then they backdoor cover you. Here it's just four. Wisconsin, frankly, doesn't have the offense to really bother Ohio State, especially with that quarterback. They'll put pr plenty of pressure on them. It's just matchup city. I mean, the corners and the safeties are so fast. Wisconsin, it'll be like Michigan, won't have a chance. Nobody will get open. And, and uh, basically just Ohio State's offense. Even if you hold them down for a little bit, eventually they'll get a few touchdowns and get the W. So good luck, everybody. Take Ohio State, lay the four. Courtesy of the Teaser King. www.teaserking.com. I got uh, three locks going this week. I don't like the lock, just the lock. I like it when I feel it. And I got two college locks and one pro. Last week, I had, uh, I, I had Washington over Oregon was one over yeah Oregon was one lock. I had uh, Western Michigan over. Um, Northern Illinois was the second lock. I had uh, San Diego Chargers getting the points uh, from uh, Oakland, three locks. And the Vikings, Minnesota laying uh, half a point to Houston. And what a matchup that was. Great defense against a team with no offense. That's the best lock I can get. So I always hunt for those. Um, that's probably what Ohio State is. You got this Team with a weak offense playing this team with a great offense and a great defense. And the defense is kind of combined, but the offenses are so much better. So that's what you really look for, that mismatch. So 9-1 and one on my last 10 locks. Uh, since I lost the Arkansas-Michigan State lock, I've been on fire. Even that day, I still won Nebraska and San Diego Chargers over Indy. So it wasn't like a total failure. It was just two locks lost. And... Uh, you know, it happens, but I'm not taking Michigan State anymore. In fact, I'm betting against them this week with Northwestern. So, anyway, good luck, and um, have a great weekend. I hope you make a lot of money. Bet Ohio State. Bet them big. Take care.